I'm going to show you how to do some little heads. Um, they're a very simple, very basic style of head and if you haven't got a lot of time to um, wait for drying of, of bigger models then these little things are, are quite nice to make. Uh, you're going to need some flesh colour modelling paste. The modelling paste what I use is sugar paste mixed with a little bit of CMC. Uh, this is flesh a little bit of brown or whatever hair colour you're going to use, the brown is going to be for the hair a pinch of black and a pinch of white we also need chestnut because we've got brown hair so we're going to use brown eyebrows chestnut will do that, obviously if you're having ginger or, or blonde hair then you maybe want to use melon or um, tangerine colour and we've also got some pink dusting powder the tools that I'm using are what I call basic modelling tools, they're all in a basic modelling toolkit that I tend to use. I've got a small rolling pin, a small dust brush, a large dust brush, glue brush and a small paint brush, a triple zero that one is. We've also got a small craft knife, a ball tool, we've got a small ball and a large ball and what I call my uh, little character stick. We also need a little bit of water and a couple of special little things that we need for these little guys. Move this over. Are some cutters. Now we can get around using a little half inch round cutter by using um, a, a nozzle, a royal icing nozzle but it is a bit tricky to get around using the larger one so a, a nice circle set is always advisable when you're doing novelty cakes anyway because circle sets always come in handy I've got two different sizes here because obviously sometimes the heads vary in sizes this is an inch cutter, this is a, um, an inch and a quarter so basically 15 mil if you're working in millimetres, 15 mil, 25 mil and 30 mil now we're going to start with the, the flesh modelling paste I'm just warming it up getting it pliable <clears throat> roll it in our hands and the ball that we're making is about two and a half centimeters across now if you're weighing your pace, I know nowadays a lot of people weigh their pace, they've got these little scales uh, this ball is 10 grams now once we've got our ball what I'm going to do is just roll my finger across half of that ball give it a little roll, I'm not going all the way across, I'm just rocking it back and forth so making a slight dent in that top half now from there I'm going to put a mouth in so again you can either use your nozzle or use your, your cutter, either will do just make sure if you are using these cutters though that they've got a seam on them make sure that's not in part of your mouth, get it away you don't want that to mark it so just lift your head up, try not to work on the head too flat because you don't want to flatten the back of these little guys we try not to touch them you know, at all really so pop the edge of the cutter into the big round bit at the bottom what we didn't roll, we didn't touch push it in and pop a little smile now, you can either leave the smile like that, that's fine or if you want to make it wider you can pop your little character stick in feather out the bottom if you want to if you want to give him a different expression but get your point of the character stick when you're happy with the smile and just pop a couple of little dimples either end from there we're going to use this small ball tool and we're going to decide where the eyes are, so where we rolled our finger to make that dent in the into the face, we're just going to put a small ball tool, push it in and bring it up and you can see it'll bring a little eyebrow same with the other side, push it in and pull up, so you've got a couple of little eyebrows there now every time I'm pushing I'm trying to lift the back of the head up and just get, get it to rest on this back bit here near the bottom, so we're not making the back of the head really flat and I'm touching it very very gently so from there it needs a little nose so back to the flesh roll a pea size, no pea size, not pea sized at all a small ball, if you get your sm small ball tool 
it's about the same size as that I'm going to pop a little bit of water even though the, the paste is freshly rolled and it's a little bit sticky still not quite enough for it to stay so a little bit of water just in between the eyes and I'm going to get the ball give it a little pinch on my finger it stick to my finger and pop it on okay so they've got quite little stubby noses these have to make sure we fixed it on well just bring his head up again we're going to push against it with the character tool for a couple of little nostrils there and then from there we can just pull his nose down a little bit we've got a little nose on there okay now I'm going to pop some ears on so again get your small ball tool again roll a couple of little balls the same size as that small ball tool Get nice and round. Okay, not quite the same size. Try again. Put a little bit more to it. There we go. Get another little roll. And with a small ball tool, we're going to cover up half of that ball with the ball tool. So it looks like as you're looking down on it, you can see like a half moon looking back at you. Cover it up. Push down and then give it a little push to get it to stick to the to your tool so we've basically squashed the ball pop a little bit of water where you want the ears now the ears will be in line with the the eyes and push your ear on now if you've got that little seam at the front there you put your ball to get another little squeeze and you can get rid of that little seam and the half moon you see it goes around the back of the ear so come to your, your next ear cover half of it push down so you're squashing it give it a little push across your your worktop so it'll stick make sure you've got water on and we'll put your next ear on that just turn it around so we can see what I'm doing there you go it's got that little seam at the front give it another little squash get rid of it I've got some little wing nuts on him now look okay so from there we need eyes, so again a little drop of water inside the sockets, going back to the small ball tool again, now if we roll two, two little black balls the same size as that small ball tool, then we know they're going to fit inside those sockets because that's the size that we made and then we made it with that tool didn't we, so roll the black, two balls, as we need oops come here oh they're very sticky these ones are pop them into place so we've got a bit of water get off got a bit of water in the sockets so they'll stay there easily it's clearing away because black's awful it gets everywhere sticks to anything so just brush away any bits what shouldn't be there any of the colour what might have transferred and then going back to the white we're going to roll put him over there a second roll some white now I'm not too fussed about the size of this piece of white all I'm after is once we roll it we're going to roll it into a tapered sausage and I just want the points of that sausage so you can see it's a tapered sausage I'm going to nip off the end of that point and if you can see that's very small get a little roll uh, where's that little man pop a reflection in his eyes Now, nip off the point, get a little roll, try and get it round, try not to lose it, it might be a bit tricky to find these little pieces afterwards, push it on. Now the black was very sticky so we didn't really need a, a lot of water, just what the dampness of my brush stick that white on but um, you might need to if, it's, uh, if you've used a bit of rice and sugar. Well, it's not as warm a day as it is today. 
Now that's all the paste on there. All you need now is just to pep him up with a bit of blusher and some um, eyebrows. So we'll start with a blusher, pick him up, and let's say try not to pick him up too much, but we're going to need to pick him up to move him. Pop some blusher on his cheeks. Now, if you've got water around his nose and his eyes, you might want to wait a little bit for it to dry off before you start putting this blusher on. Got a little hair there. Okay. So we've just pepped his cheeks up a little bit. Pop some around his ears. I'm going to pop a little bit on his nose. Around his forehead. A bit on his chin. Then we're going to use a small dust brush to pop some in his mouth. Just tip him back a little bit, get it in his mouth. Brush away any excess. There we go. He's got his blusher on. Mind you, if he's a little boy, he might not want to say blusher. He's got a bit of colour to his cheeks. There we go. Put a little bit of water in his mouth. You can either leave their mouth like this if you want to. It does look quite nice like that. It doesn't really need anything else. But if you want to put some teeth in there, get some white, a little tiny pinch. Oh, two tapered sausages. Very small. Use your character stick if you get uh, the flat edge. Lift it, the teeth up with that. You can just pop them into place. Again, your paste is soft though, so just remember that. Didn't work first time, so I'll try again. And I'm just going to use my brush because the character stick is quite hard and I don't want to mark the paste, so I'm just going to use the brush. There you go, you've got some teeth in there now. And we're just going to pop those eyebrows on. So where we, we pushed, pushed the ball tool up and lifted it, we came, created that bit of a brow. If you just follow that around, just got a couple of little lines, that's all it needs. doesn't need a lot. And that's just the colour paste with a tiny bit of water. There we go. He's got his features on now. So he needs some hair. I'll pop him to one side. A little bit of icing sugar down. Roll the paste out quite thinly. not really stuck there we go and this is what I said about the cutter you've got to check with the size of your head if you get a cutter and it will fit inside the, the cutter you know you that's the size you need for the hair now I'd say it's a slightly larger one there's a little bit of a his head doesn't quite fit inside the one that was an inch so if you go for slightly larger so I'm using the one and a quarter cutter for this little guy Turn it over and I'm going to put some water on his, on this one. Now at this stage I'd more likely just pop this on its body now than try and carry on doing it while it's on the worktop. But again once it's on the body you've got to be very gentle with it, it won't take it won't accept all that pushing about too much. I'll grab your little circle, pop it on your on your little man's head. Just make sure it touches from ear to ear. Goes around the back. See, it goes around the back, and then 
get a little push around the front okay and you can get a little tweak if you want to give it a receding hairline just tweak it back a little bit if you want to bring it round well, that's quite acceptable for a for a little a little model I'm saying if you've got to do something a little a quick model if you're only doing the model about three inches high then this sort of size head is ideal really